Community housing programs across the city of Jacksonville will soon get a major boost from City Hall. Mayor Donna Deegan has proposed nearly $5 million in additional funding for housing help. So who's going to benefit? Let's go now to On Your Side's Rich Donnelly. He is live outside City Hall. Rich? It, Jeannie, that $5 million is part of a larger $25 million that Mayor Deegan wants City Council to distribute among a wide variety of programs related to arts, health, and even literacy. But housing assistance drew the largest slice of that $25 million pie. In fact, Mayor Deegan would like $2 million set aside to help Jacksonville residents pay their rent when they are past due on those payments. The further we are removed from the pandemic, the fewer federal funding resources are available for rental assistance. Dawn Gilman is the CEO of Changing Homelessness, a Jacksonville nonprofit that directly helps people avoid falling into homelessness. She said that this extra safety net will greatly benefit people in need in Jacksonville. Most people know someone with diabetes. If they're insulin dependent, they need a refrigerator to be able to store that, to be able to maintain their health and manage that chronic condition. I think the most important thing to remember is housing is health care. The City Council's Finance Committee will review the mayor's proposal during their finance meeting this coming Tuesday. Reporting live outside of City Hall, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.